Hi students, I just want to do a quick introduction to what's the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics as this is a key point that you'll need to know throughout this course and other courses. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see here I have a picture of gears. I want to use that as the running example through this very quick video that we talk about the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics. Let's start with the definition. Macroeconomics is just the study of the economy as a whole. You could think of that as these three gears all together. Some examples would include economic growth, which is just the overall increase in well being throughout uh, an economy, unemployment, inflation, which is the increase in prices as a whole, and also monetary and fiscal policy. Monetary policy being policy done by the Federal Reserve or a country's central bank, and fiscal policy being the policy that is done by Congress, the president, and both of these policies have to be done to the economy as a whole for it to be under the scope of macroeconomics. Now let's look at microeconomics, which is the study of decision-making by individuals and firms, along with how the government influences those decisions. You can think of this as each individual gear. When the individual gears are moving around, all these little microeconomic decisions are creating the overall environment for macroeconomics. Some examples would be Disney raising their ticket prices by 8%, or you deciding to rent an apartment instead of buying a house, or the government taxing plastic bags. Now, a lot of times when I tell students the government taxing things like plastic bags or cigarettes, is a microeconomics uh, topic, they think it's macro because it's the government as a whole, but it's not talking about the whole economy. It's a decision that the government is doing, a tax the government's doing to try and influence the decision making of an individual. So it would be a macroeconomic topic. So that's the key difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics. As I continue to create some videos throughout this course, I'll make sure I link them uh, in this video as well as with any other videos that I share with the class.